Clint Margera steps back in a rise ring. We saw him take Mickey Deathmatch to the limit at Spooky Slam 3. The man that started it all. There would not be a European deathmatch scene if it weren't for Big Fucking Joe. Paving the way here in Rise. When we had the first Rise Hardcore match back in 2017, there was no European deathmatch scene. There wasn't even a hardcore scene. We built it from the ground up. And here we are today to crown the first ever deathmatch champion in Europe. And that is your favorite right there, Big Fucking Joe. He came so close to winning both Games of Death tournaments. He came up short last year at the Outlaw Cup with a dodgy finish against Darko. But tonight he intends to right all wrongs by winning the Outlaw Tournament. Jera was one of the only men in the country with the hardcore style of wrestling, with the deathmatch style of wrestling. And Big Joe has taken that all over the world. And we get right into the action. Clint Marger and Big F and Joe exchanging light tubes over the head, glass flying everywhere. And what a tough quarterfinal this is for Big Joe. As I say, the favourite to win the whole thing, but he has to get through Clint Marger. The Rice Faithful coming alive for Big Fucking Joe. And look at that, two light tubes tied together. And another pair of light tubes over the skull of Clint Margera. Once again, the blood is flowing early. Pouring from Clint Margera and he's holding onto that left arm. It looks like he's got a, a nasty cut there already. It's not looking good for Clint Margera as Big Joe comes charging in with that cannonball, but Clint managed to move the tubes out the way. But it ends up probably working out even worse as it bounces over his head. Joe sending him into the opposite corner now, comes running in again. 
but Clint manages to get the boot up. And with a big forearm comes charging in and once again with another one. Now sending Joe over with the snap man, coming running in with a low clothesline. Clint still grabbing that left arm, I can't quite see. He's now going to the referee. The referee looks a bit concerned. And he's using the only arm he currently has, the right arm now, to smash light tubes over Big Joe. Oh, look at that, going for the exposed knees of Big Joe. Big Joe with an injury of his own on that right knee, and that was what Clint Margera was targeting there. Now the referee is putting duct tape around the arm. And Clint Margera, this looks like it's a nasty cut of some sort that Clint has sustained here right at the start of this match. But he is not going to be quitting. He is ripping that tape. Biting that tape off and wrapping it around the arms and smacking Joe with another light tube. This is not going to hold Clint Margera back. Now grinding broken glass into Joe's head. And now Joe's bleeding profusely all over his arms and it's dripping from the head where that glass was just driven into the skin. Clint Margera has been doing this for years. He was one of the only men engaging in deathmatch violence in the UK before Big Joe and the Deathmatch Outlaws and Rise came along. We took the risk and did what no one else was doing, putting on some of the most violent matches that have ever been seen in Europe. And Clint Margera wanted to be a part of it. But I bet he's wishing that he didn't after being driven into that board of what looks to be shaven razors. Big fucking joke! has taken it to the next level and we've seen an entire deathmatch scene rise from the ashes in the UK because of what Rise and the Deathmatch Outlaws have been doing and now Big Joe is giving them some broken glass on his own Margera, a former champion in TNT Extreme Wrestling, who have been inspired by the death matches that we've been putting on in Rise. But Alex Colon now holds that belt. Clint Margera will be wanting to get his hands back on that championship, but first, he wants to get his hands on the European Deathmatch Championship, but he's got Razor Wire being driven into the top of his head he's trying to get a finger in there to relieve some of the pressure that looks absolutely agonizing screaming in pain like a crown of razor wire around the head of Clint Margera Put his Rice Championship on the line in the first ever Games of Death 
back in 2019. He was beaten in the final by Casanova Valentine after Joe took the most difficult route to the final. And now he's armed with a TV. A massive flat screen television that was about to be used on Clint Margera. And now Clint has got another steel chair. Wrapping it round the back of Big Joe, it's already bent. And now stomping the TV and breaking it in half on top of Big Joe. Continues with another ruthless chair shot. Now he's picked Big Joe for a fork and arrow. We saw Michael Caden use that earlier, putting Alex Cologne through the chairs that had those bottle caps on top of it. Big Joe has taken one of those off Michael Caden himself, but he manages to kick out here against Clint Argera. Big Joe and Michael Caden back at Spooky Slam 1 and 2 were influential in creating this deathmatch scene in the UK. Those two matches were voted match of the year. Two years in a row by the Rise Faithful. And that was what really started this path of violence that Rise has been on ever since. <laughs> Look at that iron and board wrapped in barbed wire and big choice driven Cliff Archer and through it. This could be it and it's over. Here is your 